Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. We'll talk about our Thanksgiving plans a little more tomorrow. I am uh, I am not here Wednesday, so uh, tomorrow's our last day together, Candy, for the week. It is, it is. I will be here Wednesday, but then I'm off Thursday and Friday. Yay! Uh, all right. A uh, couple of things before we get to uh, national days and other things. I'm re- just an odd story that I feel like I've seen before, but it caught my attention. Um, did you know that every other country in the world has the Duracell bunny, but here in the U.S. it's the Energizer bunny? Hmm. Because when Duracell came up with the idea for the Duracell bunny, they forgot to reorder, you know, like re-up on their trademark in the U.S. They did it everywhere else, but someone dropped the ball and they forgot to file to keep the trademark for the Duracell Bunny in the United States. And when Energizer saw this, they hopped in and created the Energizer Bunny in the United States. Oh, Isn't that something? Did not know this, no. Thought that was interesting. Yeah. Um, And then I was reading a story about plumbers and how, um, do you know how the day after Thanksgiving, we know in the shopping world, is Black Friday, right? That's right, yeah. A lot of sales already starting now. We're going to start... This in July, sooner or later, the way they keep pushing it up. So I saw a story about plumbers. They call the day after Thanksgiving Brown Friday, Candy. I I want to ask why. You don't have to ask why. But then I really don't want to know. You don't have to ask why. All right, good. You know why. But they say it's not just about the toilets and the families that have gotten together. It's about the sinks and the drains in the sink and people stuff stuff things down the drain and uh so it's not just the toilets candy it is but the plumbers have very busy days the day after thanksgiving well that's good to know yeah so i I think i have one uh my plumber's name is jordan as you know when i find someone in my life that does a good job at something candy they become a very uh, uh close friend and part of this show candy so lovely uh jordan's on speed dial you know had the leak under the sink and he was over here in two seconds and you know you got to have a person like that you do it's important absolutely and how about this one a grandmother refused st- to stop feeding carrots to a sad horse and got arrested a judge in england put a restraining order on a 67-year-old grandmother because she was sitting by a stable feeding this racehorse because she thought it looked sad. And the owners Aww. came over and said, this horse is not sad. It eats every day. It's perfectly healthy. Stop feeding it carrots. It's going to throw up. And oh my goodness. after a certain amount of time, they called the authorities and they got a restraining order against her. And they and wow. a, vet, a vet came and checked the horse out and said, yeah, this horse is perfectly healthy. She needs to stop feeding the horse carrots, please. Oh, my goodness. Poor little old lady. Um, side note, back in 2005, she got arrested for assaulting her brother with three sticks of rhubarb. So <laughs> she's got a thing. I never thought of <laughs> rhubarb as a weapon. She's got a thing for vegetables. Oh, uh, yeah. What can I say? Lucky with a rhubarb. Uh, National days, um, there is only one that I see on my list. National Cranberry Relish Day today. Mm, a lot of people will be making this. Yes, I will be making some appetizers. Some of them will call for cranberry sauce. Have you discussed with KC, your son, who is hosting this year? Yes, yes. Did he ask you to make specific things? I'm making a platter of, like, little appetizers. Uh, it's going to be great. All right, very good. And they're yeah. they're ordering in the rest, everything else. From Whole Foods, they're getting uh, dinner for eight, so mm. I'm sure it'll be good. And he's getting shrimp for shrimp cocktail, and my cousin is bringing some stuff, and, you know, there'll be plenty. All right. Very, very nice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Any pigs in blankets on the menu? Well, we're having this oven issue. I know he could make them in the toaster oven. I will not be bringing them. Perhaps he'll have them already there. I'll suggest it to him when I speak to him again, but there will be plenty to enjoy. How about some good news stories to round out your Monday the original Gerber baby turned 95 oh, over the weekend. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Did Her, they pose her in the same position and take a picture? <laughs> I don't know. Her name is Ann Turner Cook, and she was chosen in 1928 
as the Gerber baby. Love it. Uh, a 69-year-old woman in Maine who's been fighting COVID just came out of a coma and off of life support. Well, okay, she just came out of a coma. She was supposed to be taken off life support after two months on a ventilator. The day she was supposed to be taken off life support, she came out of the coma. The, the family had planned the funeral already, Candy. And she's wow. alive. And she wow. now, her son says uh, she was not vaccinated, and she says... As soon as she's healthy enough, she wants to get the vaccine. So she's right. she's a believer Glad now. She's on the recovery end uh, of this. Pff, unbelievable, really. Wow, oh, wow. Um, a woman in Wisconsin who loves Dalmatians got to have a 101 Dalmatians party for her 101st birthday. I love that. Can you imagine? I can. How beautiful that is. That is. And finally, a two-year-old girl in North Carolina, Sarah, battling brain cancer. Her favorite thing is to tool around on the golf cart her parents own. Well, some jerk stole it last week, Candy. Ugh. So a random guy saw the story and showed up with a golf cart for them the very next day. And someone started a GoFundMe campaign and her family plans to use it to pay off some medical debt and give the rest to charity. I love it. That's that a, a great nice story. Great nice way to end this Monday. Cause yes. I don't like Mondays. No, but you know, it's okay. We yeah. did okay. Yes, we did. Good, good, solid weekend into Monday, short week. Everyone's excited to uh, get away for Thanksgiving and whatever. Tomorrow's our final day together for the week, Candy. And uh, we shall get into all things Thanksgiving. Have a great rest of your day. You too. I will be here with you tomorrow. Yes, my country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.